Yo, what's going on, guys? Matthew V. Haynes here, a.k.a. The Clock Master. I'm here with my wife. Shannon, a.k.a. Cosmic Fix. We're here to check out Season 3 of... No, Season 3, Episode 3 of... The Witcher. The Witcher, there you go. Um, if you guys haven't seen our, our last reaction, please make sure to, sure to go ahead and do so. Um, we had a whole rant about the possibilities of the future, what's going to happen with The Witcher, and Liam showing up in some weird time thing yeah, really he, hope that doesn't happen i don't know what they're planning to do hopefully this episode can give us some insight as to the direction that they're trying to take this whole thing with this double series thing um let's just see where this goes guys last episode was a little bit slower for me but you know that's kind of how it all how is it sometimes the first one's a banger the second one's kind of eh, and the third one starts to ramp things up so let's see what happens in this episode and yeah let's go right into it full reaction to this will be on patreon so yeah. Okay, so we'll talk about it later as we normally do. Let's get into it. Now. There's a hammer. You know? You're confused. I'm confused. Uh, wait, okay. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confused too, yes. Every problem is a world. Yeah, I guess. Platonically and occasionally with great effort as one would a family goat. Wait, hang on, when did you get dressed? <laughs> I'm a spoon guy. Out of it, no, yes. Um, get out of yes. here, bro. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yes, yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry, it's the family goat. <laughs> Let me call my family <laughs> goat, bro. Too. <laughs> I did find something else, though. Yeah, and what's that? Oh, uh, uh, you know, I adopted another child. child. Swear, bro, if this is some time thing, bro. Yeah. So, blame the heightened senses, but we both know you are ripe, old bugger. <laughs> oh, that burns. That burns like a brow rogue's arsehole. <laughs> what? <is> that? <laughs> oh, that's table what? <laughs> Put himself killed in the process, but he saved my life. That, that necklace coming off. Oh, of course. The fact that it was shown? Yeah. Either he's ripping it off or someone's taking it off. I was there for Fasana. She's dead. Is that his mom? She talked to me so. a lot at the end. Bring the spell. The hell? Well, that's another thing. She's part elven. Maybe a couple of generations Were they trying to make a Siri army? Poor girl, something like this. Struggleborn. Now she's going back to him. To acquire all these tricks. You already know who. Whoever this mage is, they have quite a variety. Hey, bro. You see, wake up and be like, no, I am Siri. Right. But be like, dude. <laughs> I mean, they could have raised her to believe she's Siri. Yeah. And just always call her Siri and she never had a name. Most sumptuous of pleasures. As Man, he a traitor. Always. Just watch out. He already told him about your whereabouts. Mm. They're with you. You shouldn't leave her by herself, to be honest. With some rando. Yeah, some random person. He could be a squirrel, bro. Right. <laughs> He's the, you said it right before you process. Yeah. Well, leave her with her weapon. Okay, I'm about to say. No! Bro, you gotta leave her with no that. You You're just a normal girl having fun. Take this. Jennifer. Is it a charm? I protect her? Locate his spell. If you get into any trouble, hold this tight and recite the chant. Hey, yo! Your Highness. Pray tell, my lord, what's the return on this generous Nilfgaardian investment? No, nothing we can't afford. We... <laughs> what is it? And should we find her first? We... <laughs> Pardon, your grace. Yo, is that man dead? Queen Hedwig sent me... No. Stress enough. You Betty. stress too much. The only it's reason you have it. any power here, yep. Sigismund, is because of me. Don't forget that. Well... Like Redania isn't untouched. You want to see? Used to like to try. Power comes from believing in its value, an illusion designed to control the masses. I saw some over here, bro. <laughs> I believe in its power. Right. Love hide a princess whose existence. What if it's Vilga Forts? I want more than that. I don't know. Because he's still a big question mark. Yeah. Did it. On the reason. Did what? Found a reason to live and keep going. Okay, my mother. Aww. 
Yeah. And she's accepting it too. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing in the books and the games. Jennifer was like a mother to her. Geralt like a father. Mm -hmm. Trish like an aunt slash other mother. Yeah. These are nice churros. Right. Like, like round churros. Oh my god, how many looks are we gonna see this guy in? Trouble. Right. Continue. Every shot I see of a mirror, he just looks different. I mean, right. Right. <laughs> he wanted me. Yeah, he knows. To convince you to take Siri to redeem you. <laughs> Trying to use others in her place. And they will continue mm -hmm. to. Yep. Because that is what people in power do. There's something he said there. A source. <laughs> She's not just a princess. Right. Well, that's deeply worrying. What? Yeah. <laughs> Turn. Good. There we Something. go. Hmm. Hmm. And our tooth. Hmm. hmm. Good. Little good for it's our stroke board. <laughs> One of those two. Jeez. Poor girl. No. Oh. Stupid Witcher. Oh, You're shoot. Doomed, and you don't even know it. Now we fight you now. Um, Cyrilla's destiny. Is that the deathless mother? Oh, shoot! Oh my god! Oh god. Oh yep. god. Yep. Oh god. Did not say that necklace was coming yeah. on? Jeez. Oh my god. Alright, Yaskia. Good on you. Right. Okay, good. That eliminates some of my fears about the timeline nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> Was that the, the deathless mother? Careful. These beasts are notoriously unpredictable. I fought enough of them to know. It looks like the dude from All American. Huh? How scary could that be? I'd be surprised. Bro, she got a cool they look. I like her hair. Know. And unpredictable means trouble. What's wrong with a little trouble? Jesus. Right. Bro, she looks like a Shadow and Bone character. Right. Yo, you, yo, you were just lifted. Did she just steal something from you? I heard something go click. click. That a person? It's breath alone. Could poison you. It's not a basilisk. Siri. She can't keep her mouth shut. Hatches. The falsest lie. Tis the truest truth. Theory. That's Shut why a basilisk up, can only be killed by seeing its reflection in the mirror. What, right, I mean, she knows all about her monsters because no, 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 no. the Witcher. Why don't you just piss off and shut up? <laughs> Here we go. Siri does not know how to, like, not. No. Bro, you see me screaming? <laughs> I thought you caught this joint, boy. Right. See, I fought enough of them. Come on now. Get off of her temple, dog! <laughs> she saved me, brave knight. We have a hero in our midst. He saved us all. What, I did? I did? I have to get out of here. <laughs> Take the attention off yourself. Exactly. Hey, travel, I could kick ass through this whole fucking Where's my money? Hey, Travel! <laughs> Told you she got lifted. And it's probably already worked. Siri, you shouldn't have started this. No. She told you about inter interfering. What are you doing here? Bringing my, my child to proper education when she obviously sorely needs. Forgive her, Rita. So she came here to learn. So this is the girl. Don't you dare take your eyes off me. But to say it's scary when she needs to I be. I know, she's God. terrifying. Boy, I cannot train her. That's enough for introductions. The power's too much. <laughs> it's a bit like Ahsoka with, um, oh my God. Yeah, so good with um with Grogu. Right. I cannot train him. <laughs> There's too much conflict within him. Instead of dwelling on the past, focus our attention on the future. 
Let's realize that's Sabrina. Red. Here. You didn't specify? You didn't specify what you want. Between kingdoms. So you don't no, say nothing. Wine. No. Get it yourself. Oh god. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Sometimes you have to go along to get along. To what end? Bro was if trained as a witcher. She didn't have this. Will you let <laughs> say I turn me into an eel? And if I do, deal with that. Trust me, I know you're not scared. He would never sell his soul like this. Oh. Dang. Golly. I don't even think. I don't even think it's about selling a soul. I don't know. I got some opinions concerning this whole thing, which I will save for after the episode because I don't want to talk too much during it. Yeah. But she was trained like a witcher. They don't be doing stuff like that. But then again, they have rules they have to follow. Even witchers have rules. Impossible ones, even. Up for it. She a few over it for the rest of their lives. Yeah, but he was a child of um, a promise. From a, if that's what I heard from remembering I correctly, he was. My life. He was like promised to Vesemir. Fine, there we go. Another case of Siri trying to run away. Not so bad. Uh. Oh! Uh. 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 Nobody gets in or out of me. Tell the gatekeeper to scout the perimeter and bring it's me back to his manservant immediately. This is why you don't do anything without your advisors. Oh, unless that was Disha's lady that did that. It to very set well up, could have been. To set up Nilfgaard. It very well could have been. Yeah. You. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. Disha not playing now, bro. Bro. What kind of a person you gotta be, bro, to just go through with something like that? Right. And sleep at night. Let alone sleep, eat. Oh, mm -hmm. that was the person that came in. Yeah. Now, are is she? Are they using? I don't know what exactly is going on. Or is she like controlling her heart rate and stuff. Yeah. I'm scared because I don't know if she's trying to kill her or something. I don't know what's going on. Right. Big had a thick neck, but God, that was a workout to cut through. <laughs> is she dead now? Face. Yeah, her face is messed up. Instead of just the illusion of one. I'm telling you, man, that mage is either Vilgefortz or Struggleborn. Yeah. Or however the hell you say his name. Too strong for a scrawny little. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Poor Robbie and Mel. Always getting cast aside. Right. Bro, I don't. I hope Siri knows she's not getting far. She's just gonna run. She's gonna ride straight into a portal. She's a literal storm chasing her. She's not getting far away. Oh God, is this the wild hunt? Oh. Yes, Wait, it is. That's even worse. Oh. 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 God. Oh no. Dad's gotta come rescue. Huh? Said dad's gotta come rescue. Yep. Siri, you brought them there. You brought them there by messing with stuff he wasn't supposed to mess with. Okay. So I I I don't blame Siri for just trying to look out for herself and being true to herself and also you know she's still a little bit younger so her her mic said it's just like i just i this is not what i want to do it's yeah i want it to be my way yeah she's not fully matured and i don't yeah. know if she fully understands the gravity yeah she doesn't yeah she doesn't understand how serious the situation is i also do think there's some truth to what she said to yennefer though about like you know, be you know, sticking up for yourself and not trying to to sell your soul or whatever. But at the same time, though, these are valuable skills to learn. 
Yeah, I feel like for sorry, let me cut you. Mm-hmm. I feel like for Yennefer doing this, it's more of a sacrifice to protect Siri than it is to sell her ship. Yeah, because her sacrificing her, you know, value or whatever you want to call it, is her saying you're going to train Siri and you're going to make her better than all of us. Mm-hmm. So. I feel like in Yen's mind, that is worth more than for selling her soul. Yeah, and I mean, like, also, too, um, if Siri wasn't involved, I also I think they were union this way too quick, but um, if Siri wasn't involved, um, I don't think Jennifer would be crawling back to our team anytime soon. No, this is only purely because of Siri. Yeah, she would have been just kind of running around on her own. Just doing what she's always been doing. Absolutely. Uselessness. Absolutely. Just but trying to cannot, fill a void. She cannot train Siri on her own. She's tried. Mm-hmm. She needs the help. And, you know, to say is like one of the only people that could train her to the extent that she would need. Yeah. So. So, but you see, thing is, so like, like those skills can be, oh, shoot, it happened. I just realized the deal happened. The deal between Netflix and HBO, it happened. Look what's on here. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know the deal happened. Yeah. It did happen. Oh, if they need money, money. They need money, money. Oh, no. They need money, money. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> so, um... But anyways, yeah, as, as, as I was saying. Um... Siri being able to put aside her pride for a second to learn these valuable skills can help her because you can learn. Look, it's like video editing. Once you learn how to video edit, you can use it for good. You can use it for bad. You can use it for things that are child friendly and family friendly. And you can use it for things that are not family friendly things that are more explicit, more adult. But at the end of the day, it's all the same video editing skills. Yeah. So how you use those skills are up to you. And it's the same thing you can say about any trade, any job. Mm-hmm. You can say about anything, even like with learning coding, like learning coding. Obviously, there's like white hat hackers and then there's black hat hackers, the more notorious ones. You can use it to cause harm yeah. or you can use it for good. Even just in like an everyday circumstance, like... You know you're training at a job mm-hmm. you know you might not like the job you might not stay there forever but the skills and, but and you have to like present yourself a certain way right. for mm-hmm. the meantime yep. but those skills you can use in the future for yourself exactly it's like there could be a, some corporate job or some type of job you don't like like some intern job where you literally you're literally someone's lackey yeah but maybe that can give you an important skill yeah Let's maybe that skill like could a... teach you how to to serve right or like it's for example, or another example, like a photography assistant. Yeah. You're getting all of the skills. You might hate your boss. Yep. But all those skills you're going to use in the future. Yep. To better yourself and to progress your skill set. You can't expect. It's like, it's like you can't expect to be served unless you know how to serve. That's the thing. It's like. So sometimes you need to be an intern. I'm not saying it's always about the best situation or if you can have bosses that are less toxic, that could be good. Well, obviously that's but, better, but the point is, it's like you could have, you know, someone talk down to you and be mean and aggressive and whatnot. But that person could also be doing it to, to help you build your guts and build your strength and toughen you and up, toughen you up yeah. for when you go out in the world you know how to deal with that's what Tessera did with with Yennefer you see how nicer and more calm she is to her now and she's like emotional and she's think she was mean to her and she was aggressive to her not because she it loved it harsh love. it was harsh love she had to teach her that this world is a nasty place yeah and that if you're going to be successful in, in this field you need to be able to handle this kind of stuff right you need to be able to make people feel good about themselves. Right, exactly. You need to go up to these kings and these queens and make them feel like you're there to serve them. 
Yeah, but you have your own motives that. that you're less than them, even yeah. though you're not. Because some people, you can learn how to use them. So okay. it's just like these are important. Yes, it's important for Siri. When Geralt wants something done, the perfect example is in season two with um Istrid. It was a small scene, but these soldiers came up to him and Istrid when they were certain like doing research on the monoliths, and um. Istrid was like, hey, he's like trying to negotiate and be like, you know, go the sorcerer route. Like, oh, um, you know, hey, like, I, I have papers. I'm a researcher for Nilfgaard. Yeah, da, 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 da. Geralt, like, no, 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 turn it around. Put your hands on Geralt. Yeah. Big difference. Geralt punches his way through things. Yeah. Not always. Sometimes he, sometimes he can, you know, he knows how to be stealth. He knows how to research and to you know get information without having to use a sword but he's that's he's he can use a sword when he needs to use his sword so like be learning how to be stealthy learning how to get information by manipulation those are all things that could be beneficial for siri to learn yeah absolutely. you are all of these things you you are trained by a witcher but you have magical abilities that only the witchers can only teach you so much they only have a few hand signs that they use for their magic. Mm -hmm. And their magic is very limited. It's stronger than the average man. You know, it'll take on the average person. But, but against so much, a mage... There's only so much he can teach. Yeah, there's only so much he can teach. And he only has, like, the Witcher magics are only a few hand signs. Yeah. That's it. That's all it is. There's yeah. nothing crazier beyond that. All their stuff he is all, you know, chemistry-based and now chemical and... Right. All that and elixirs, you know, and... being taught by the strongest mage there right. is, like Yen said, on the continent. On right. the continent, yeah, like bro, you're you have, and she doesn't she isn't aware of this yet, but you have threats coming from other dimensions and other planets and stuff yeah. trying to come for you, bro. Now you have freaking like dead people trying to get you, like a freaking Return of the King style. Like, you have a whole dead army, or undead army, of people trying to... You need to know how to protect yourself outside of a sword and shield. You, you need to like learn how to stay quiet. You. Right. You gotta learn how to stay quiet. You gotta learn how to observe. You have to learn how to speak when you need to speak. Yeah. Learn how to do things when you need to do. Like... Yeah, she has to be a little smarter about how she approaches situations. She's very impulsive. She doesn't read the room before she acts. I mean, even even I'm like, Geralt has a sense of like he knows how to read the room. Yeah. He knows when he needs to draw attention to himself or not. Right. Like in the case that um like was here with this episode, it's like oh that's a wyvern you're lying. That Geralt will never have said anything. No. He never would have said anything because that's no. drawing att unnecessary attention. Girl probably would have waited till after the fact, go out to the guy and say, Why are you doing this? Yeah. And take care of it then. Yeah. Siri is very impulsive and that's that's the downfall she comes across. And that's just her her, her naivety, mm -hmm. her immaturity. Exactly. And she will grow. She will learn. She's still very young. This is a major situation that she doesn't fully understand and it's like season one Ezra. Yeah. from rebels yeah by the end of the show spoilers if you haven't seen it but by the end of the show ezra made one of the most selfless choices mm -hmm. ever he has yeah. grown so much in those seasons that by the time it came down to it he sacrificed himself for everyone else mm -hmm. you can see you saw his maturity with the force you saw his maturity with him. He was still fun when he needed to be fun. Yeah. But, like, but you saw him grow. Exactly. And become a Jedi. Once you see the threats and all of that stuff firsthand, it has a way of maturing you. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Especially if you are open to it and if you're at the center of it. Yeah. And Ciri's got people from literally all over coming after her, and now she's seeing another group that is after her that she, they know nothing about. Mm -hmm. They have no information on them whatsoever. So the fact that she's seeing that they were real, it might cause a shift in her thinking. So like, crap, like these things are actually, these were not like my figments of my imagination. Yeah. These are real things. Exactly. And she might realize, okay, maybe I do need some training 
maybe I do need to be able to take care of myself in that regard. The whole talisman, she did like a whole, um, she literally just brought a whole bunch of people to herself. Mm -hmm. Because Yennefer said, use this to call, to say that specific enchantment and it'll locate me to you. Yeah. But she didn't realize that by, she probably imbued this thing with so much power that it alerted, basically sent us a beacon to everything and everyone. Yeah, because I mean, it, there's people talking through it. Yeah. She said, she's like, who's Geralt? Exactly. Like, she literally sent an interdimensional beacon yeah. through space and time. She doesn't realize how powerful she is. She yeah. does. She she knows she's called to do something greater, but her, her ignorance and her stubbornness mm -hmm. makes her feel as if she can take on the world just from raw power alone. And that's not the case. Exactly. You need to learn. And sometimes learning those tricks might suck. Yeah. Might have to sacrifice, you know, yourself a little bit. Like the martial arts that I've, that I've practiced for over a year tells you that like, bruh, if y'all, I'm telling you right now, if you were to do the martial art I did, you would go in to class. This is, this is ancient Japanese teachings. You would go into a class and after a couple weeks, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be done. You wouldn't want to do it anymore because you wouldn't see the point of it. Like there'll be a, you, you, it'll seem like you'd be doing a lot of nothing. Like it's a lot of slow paced learning, a lot of like taking things in chunks and pieces. And it's not like a lot of these other, you know, schools where you learn how to do like, you know, fast jabs and punches and like flashy moves. And, and, but the point I'm trying to get to is that like, the teachings can take years. I'm I'm not even close. I'm still a novice in this art, in this art form. I'm still a novice, even after a year of training. It's I'm still I haven't even scratched the surface of the things that I've learned. And I have been able to see the ladder. I've been able to see people at the top of the game who are just amazing combatants and amazing uh practitioners of the art and they're so good at what they do but it took them years 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 even some of my of my you know fellow comrades there they train in six six plus years and they and they're only like if this is the ceiling if from here to here is the ceiling this six years and they're here i'm like here so the point is is that like she doesn't see how valuable the time is to learning these things. Eventually, do you see what Yennefer can do? You can see what to say on some of these other mages can do. You think they just got there by like right. going to a two week course? No, it took literally hundreds of years for Yennefer to even come close to being as powerful as to say it. Maybe even powerful enough or more powerful than her to even do fire magic and still live mm -hmm. right so it took her years to learn from Tesea and then years for her to go off and, and experiment with things and fail right so Siri doesn't see that bigger picture so hopefully you know throughout this this show this season and maybe what's happened the next season that she learns and that she comes to those you know realizations that you know what I need to learn because a lot of yeah. people rebel first. Because like, well, I remember, Absolutely. like I said, like I never knew when I first stepped into the dojo, I had my own doubts. I had my own doubts about the art until I got clapped. And then until I saw that what I thought I knew when I tried to do it, I thought, you know, like, hmm, okay, I don't really see how that makes sense, but okay. And then I try to do it and then it's like, ooh, I need to learn that <laughs> and it puts you into a perspective that like yo all right everything i thought i knew i gotta throw that out the window and i need to become humble and learn and that and hopefully siri gets to that point yeah because even it happened with when she was training in in Kiermore, when she was trying to go on top of the um the do the the, the, the the obstacle course mm -hmm. she kept falling and failing and falling and failing because she thought she knew better and she had to just buck up and listen <laughs> So, but anyway, we'll wrap up here, guys. We haven't really eaten anything for the day. It's been a long morning, so we're going to wrap up here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one, Clockmaster. And Cosmic Thanks. Out.